In this video, we're going to walk through how to create a custom connector in Azure Logic Apps using an open API URL specification. We're going to upload the CloudMersive Virus Scan API so we can take advantage of the advanced scan API iteration in cloud security projects. Right now, we're looking at the Azure Logic Apps custom connector page where I have a custom connector already set up called Custom Advanced Virus Scan. We're going to walk through steps to create this exact connector, and then we're going to open it up in an example Logic Apps flow. Let's start by clicking Create. In the Basics tab, under Project Details, we can start by selecting our Azure subscription, and then we can assign our custom connector to a resource group. I'm going to assign mine to one of my test resource groups, but we can also create a new one if we want. Under Instance Details, we can give our custom connector a name like the one I showed before, and then we can confirm our region. We can also select the integration service environment if we want, but I'm going to leave this blank. We're not going to worry about setting any tags in this demonstration, so let's go ahead and click Review and Create. On the Review and Create page, let's make sure we're happy with all the basic information before we click Create down at the bottom. Once our deployment wraps up, let's click Go to Resource under Next Steps. In our overview, we should see our custom connector name with a basic description. We need to click Edit up top to turn our connector into an actual resource. Now we're looking at a general information page about our connector where we can import the API specification. Let's click on the Open API URL option, and we'll see we can now provide a URL to import below that. To get our Virus Scan API URL, let's head to the CloudMersive website in another tab. If we click on the search button here, we can search the website for documentation containing an open API URL. The best way to do that is to actually search Postman, which brings up an article titled Getting Started with Cloudmersive in Postman. If we click on this article, we can scroll down and take a look at a bunch of open API URL specifications for Cloudmersive APIs. Down at the bottom of this URL list, we'll see a URL for the Virus Scan API. Let's copy this URL to our clipboard, and then let's jump back to the Custom Connector Setup page. Let's paste our URL into the URL field, and then let's click Import right next to it. After a second, we should see that a description auto-generated in the General Information section and HTTPS Scheme was automatically selected with api.cloudmersive.com as the host. Now we can click on the arrow in the bottom right and jump to Security. On this page, we just need to make sure API Key is selected as the authentication type, and then we can customize the API Key entry fields below if we want. I'd recommend leaving all of this as it is. Let's now click on the bottom right arrow again and jump to the definition page. In here, we'll see a list of all the actions we have available through the CloudMersive VirusScan OpenAPI URL spec. The basic scan action at the top of this list is actually available already through the premium CloudMersive VirusScan connector in Power Automate and Logic Apps but the advanced scan option is not, and that's what we're currently interested in here. We can now click on the blue check mark up top to update our connector. That's all there is to it. Now we can access our custom connector when we edit a Logic Apps flow. All we need to do is name our connection and provide an API key, and we can scan files for viruses, malware, and a variety of additional content threats without writing any code whatsoever.
Please like and subscribe for more demonstrations in Power Automate and Azure Logic Apps.